Hello guys. Today, as a response to one of your requests, I will show you how to create the footage with no camera information. I will show you how to use scopes dealing with the footage that you may be downloaded from somewhere and you have no idea what the camera and the camera settings were. This is before and after. I hope you'll like it. Let's start. So I am in the color tab and this is a clip I got from Artgrid. I will leave you a link to that website below in case you are interested in getting some stock footage. And as you can see, the colors are washed out. So the clip is shot in lock. And to be honest, I know what the camera settings are for this one, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be pretending that I don't. So let's minimize the view to be able to see the notes. And here I've created a few notes for today and I've labeled them. It's not a standard note structure, but today I just wanted to show you how the individual scopes work. So I've got here the waveform, vector scope and parade, as I usually use these three scopes. And then at the end, we've got the adjustments note where we'll be refining the grade. So let's start with the waveform and I've already have it opened here. And the waveform measures the luminance, which is the brightness of the image. And it shows the clip from the left to the right. So for example, when we scroll to the beginning of the clip, this part of the waveform depicts the window. And as you can see here on the waveform, this is the brightest part of the clip. And then when we scroll through the clip, the waveform changes its shape and moves accordingly. And regarding these numbers, 0 is the black level and 1023 is the white level. And we have to make sure not to go above or below these lines, as then the shadows will start to get crushed and highlights will get clipped. And here you can also adjust your waveform. You can, for example, colorize it, which will add different color channels to the waveform. Or you can adjust the brightness of the waveform. So feel free to adjust it if you want to. But I normally don't do it. So let's use the waveform to bring back the right contrast to this lock clip and I will use the primary wheels to do so. So let's start from the lift, which is the shadows. And by pushing it to the left, we are increasing the shadows and the vector scope moves towards zero as well. And remember not to push it too much so it doesn't go below it. Then gain is our highlights. So let's push them up a bit. And again, let's not go above the 1023 range. Maybe something like this. I don't like to make it look too bright. All right. And then we also should adjust gamma, which is midtones, to sculpt the image, to add more depth to it. So I'll push it down a bit. Okay. And maybe let's increase the gamma slightly. Perfect. And this is how the clip looks. And this is before and after. So while grading the clip with no camera information, you should basically rely on scopes and also on your own judgment, as we could make this clip even darker or brighter. But I tried to achieve a sweet spot for now. And everything is within the range, so we are on the safe side. Now let's move to the vector scope. And if you are interested, have a look at one of my previous videos where I'm also explaining how to use the vector scope. But generally, the vector scope shows shadows, midtones and highlights and indicates the degree of hue and saturation in the image. The further the markings are from the center, the more saturation you have in your image. And what I like to do is to go here and check show two times zoom so we can see the trace much better. And I also always use the skin indicator. So by looking at the vector scope, we can tell that there's not much saturation in the image. It's still a very subtle shot with no vibrant colors, but let's see what happens if we go here and increase the saturation. This is before and after. And I like how it looks. It still looks very natural and the trace have expanded quite a lot in the vector scope as well. And also I forgot to mention that the vector scope corresponds to the color wheel. So in the top left hand corner, we have the warmest tones and in the bottom right hand corner, the coldest tones. So we can see that the skin tones are placed around the skin indicator. And generally they should lay on or a bit above the skin indicator. 
So now let's use the gamma to adjust them a bit more. Okay, and this is before and after. Looks very natural. So now we can move to the parade and the parade is showing red, green and blue channels, which is basically the amount and the ratio of red, blue and green in the shot. So here we can see that the shot is actually very well balanced as those channels look more or less equal, but you may encounter different scenarios. For example, let me go here to the color bars and let's increase blue in the gain. Okay, so now we have way too much blue in the highlights and you can clearly spot it on the parade as well. Right, but let's reset it. And I think that we've already achieved a good well-balanced look with these scopes. So let's move to the adjustments node. And here, what I would do, I would add a little bit of contrast by using the contrast slider. Okay, before and after. It's a very small adjustment, but adds a lot more depth to the image. And also I would maybe increase the saturation of the blue here. So I'll go to my curves and then hue versus saturation. And I will sample the blue on the shot to get the right point on my curve. And I will increase it. Okay, and now let's see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.